this is like the first time that I saw the Avengers and I saw Iron Man and Spider Man together, and I loved them both separately, and I didn't realize. If, if I was like, wow, they're together. But then once they were together, you're like, dang, it's cool. So Jillian, Jacqueline, and I mean, two people I love here. TJ, good to see you. It's good to see you too, Bobby. So here we are. How in the world did you two get together for this song? Uh, I'm more curious. Like, what, who's Iron Man? Who's Spider Man? She's yeah, Iron Man. She's Iron really Man. That's question. what I was thinking. Yeah, you're too. Jillian, you're Iron Man. I you're you're so running much. the show here. I'm feeling you're a little Spider-Man. the leotards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I wrote this song uh, about a year and a half ago. And right when I was writing it, um, I was writing it over Zoom. And right as I was writing it, I heard TJ's voice singing with me on the chorus. He's one of my favorite voices of all time. Likewise. So I just kind of uh, thought about it for a while. I was really nervous. But (laughs) I eventually sent you the song. And I texted you. I was like, hey. And I think I had the wrong number because I didn't hear back from you for like weeks. I was like, oh, shit. He hates the song. That's when I text him, too. He doesn't respond either for weeks. Okay. Well, eventually... (laughs) Somehow I got a hold of you, and you listened to it enough, and and then he, sh- you know, shot me a text back, and you were like, "Yeah, I, I want to do it." But I loved that you were so um, intentional with it. You really took your time listening to it and figuring out if it like felt right for you. And then when you came into the studio to record it and started singing, I was like, "This is." There's just these moments in life where it's just like serendipitous and you're like, this was meant to be. Your voice on this song just makes it what it is. So, oh, yeah. Well, thank you. And I'm, obviously, I've always been a huge fan of Jillian's and I've always admired her for so long. And her, her voice, it's one of those things you hear it recorded and you're like, it's, it's so amazing. But these days, you know, obviously, it's, you can really, you can make a lot of people sound really good. And then you hear her live and it sounds exactly like it does on the recording. It's one of the most beautiful, most like fragile voices I've ever heard. It's, it's <laughs> truly like one of my faves. And so I thought it would be amazing to collaborate with her. And then she sent the song, and I really, really love the song. Um, and as Jillian said, I mean, sometimes um, you, know, you get asked to collaborate with some people, and it, it works out or it doesn't. But um, I just, I did. I really kind of, I did hear myself on it with her. And, and uh, I think, it, yeah, it was good. I'm, I'm glad that the text got through, Jillian. I am glad, Sounds yeah. like you were intentional with that text message response, too. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> pretty intentional there. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's interesting, too, because duets are tough. I mean, you know, especially when it's a song. I wanted it to feel like we could both sing it and really own it and and tell our own story. And I think it's just the way we wrote it just feels like one of those classic country songs that I grew up loving. So I'm really, really proud of how it turned out. I am as well. Yeah, thank you. I'm a big fan. Uh, I think our audience should know you had a baby with your guitar player. This guy, yeah, yeah. Not we me. had a baby. Yeah. Who's, also, who's also her husband, by the way. I just thought I'd set that up like that. Her, her husband but plays I'm, guitar for her. Yes, yes, I know, and we still like walk around places and we're like, "Whose baby is this? Is this ours?" Like, it's still so weird. But yes, we have a baby. What's yeah. what's that? I mean, I, I mean, uh, I really haven't. You know, pandemic makes... and baby and marriage. We haven't. I know. Spent a lot of time together, us three. I know. So, like, what's what's life been like with the baby? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> We're both tired. I mean, he's only five months old, so, you know. Uh, it makes everything a little bit more challenging, but also so much more joyful, and he's just the cutest. I think he's the cutest baby in the world. Um, his name's Rockwell. And, you know, it's um, it's amazing to get to be able to do this kind of stuff and also pursue being a mom. I mean, as a you know, as an artist, you kind of try to figure out the right time to do these things, and it never is the right time. And so I'm glad we just jumped in, and, and now we get to... Bring him on the road. We'll pack him up in the van, and he'll just hang out. I'm just kidding. Not in a van. But, um, yeah. What's the, what's the reason for Rockwell? How did that name come about? Um, well, I love... Uh I love Norman Rockwell, the artist, and we also loved the nickname Rocky. I'm from <laughs> Pennsylvania. I'm from Philly, so we kind of like liked the ode to Rocky, and I don't know. Yeah, there's a few That's reasons. Awesome but name. She keeps Thank looking you. at her husband, Brian, who doesn't have a mic, <laughs> who's, who's playing guitar, and he's what? like, what do you mean to do? I, I can't say anything. I know, I sorry. Yeah, I don't I have just, a mic. Is that, do, do you agree? Yes? Rockwell? She, he, yeah? She okay. just looks for a head nod. Yes. <laughs> TJ, uh, what... By the way, let me say I love you. But your hair's blonde. Yeah. What's what's up? <laughs> I was telling everyone when I walked in the studio earlier that yeah, I uh, I dyed my hair blonde. I was like, I'm gonna change it up, but it is my mom really, really, really hates it, and she tells me <laughs> every time I go to her house, I'm like, I remember from the last time I was here that you didn't like it, and then suddenly think something changed. But yeah, just uh, you know, change it up a little. I love it. 
Thank you. Yeah. You, you know, had just done it before the video when we shot I the had, video. Yeah. yeah. In fact, right before the video, uh, I had it dyed and it turned into a really, really, really crazy color. Like I was supposed to be there in like an hour and a half, and I was like, I cannot be on camera. Like this is it was really bad. And then the poor girl, she was like sweating, and she went back. She applied something else on my head, and then it got worse. Oh, no. And then she like, I was like, oh my god, I have to be there like now. And she's like, one more thing, and then like put this stuff back in my hair, and it just kind of. You know, it's there's a picture of it here that oh, yeah. uh, and it, it turned out pretty good. I, I, I more so felt terrible for her because I felt like the girl was that was doing my hair. I thought, I mean, I was, she was like, I'm just going to end it now. <laughs> I can't. She could not take it anymore. Shave it. I mean, I felt actually really horrible for her, but it turned out really good. The, the music it. video was really fun as well. They um, was shot in this this actually this family's home in Goodlettsville. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I showed up. Did there. they know? Like you didn't just well, honestly, when I walked through the front door. They were just chilling there, uh, yeah, watching so they my were family. They had, yeah, they I was like, probably had a heart attack when you walked in the door. It was really yeah. funny. Yeah, and I don't think they knew who I was, but they were like, "This is the best day of our lives." We're oh, so glad no. they knocked on our door. No, yeah. They were very sweet. They were very, they were very sweet. sweet yeah. yeah. Wait, how do you find her? You just knock on a random family. Our directors door? are very scrappy. Yeah, they just went. They found houses they liked the look of, and they started asking people, like, "Hey, will you let us shoot at your house?" And these people, lottery, they said <laughs> yes, and they were like, "T.J. Osborne's coming over. Here we go." <laughs> <laughs> oh, TJ, do you remember TJ and I used to be neighbors? And remember our street got shut down and they filmed like a movie or a TV show or something on our street and we got paid. Oh, remember to use our paid? yards. He just like, what? what? <laughs> you got, you got, got paid? paid? Oh my God. Yeah, didn't we I did like not get, bucks I did not get paid. Maybe you did, but they did not. They were like, oh, I can't remember the full story, but I know there was some you production had, you had happening. Like the, you had the nicest house on the street. So they're like, oh, we've wow. got to take care of this. <laughs> whoever lives there. Okay, so I'm going to encourage you guys. Uh, stream better with a broken heart from Jillian, Jacqueline, and TJ. <laughs> and I, I know there's an album coming January, February, March, April, May, 6th of June. June, right? June 10th. June 10th. Yes. Jillian's album will be out. We'll be sure to talk about it then when it comes out. At, as far as an artist, Jillian, you know you are like one of my favorite. Oh, Anything you. you do, I'm just, I, I wrap my arms in it and try to support it and love it. So, like, this is, I'm glad I love it because I would support it anyway. But I'd be like, I don't really love that one. But I love this one. This is the great thing about it. It's really good it's to better. know. It's better when I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Bobby. Um, you've always been such an amazing champion. And um, it's just an honor to be here again, to share this song, and to have this guy here with me. It's just amazing. And thank you, Brian, for playing guitar. Both yeah. guys. You can't hear him because he doesn't have a microphone. <laughs> he said, yes. thank you. I had to be here because you are my wife. Yes. <laughs> when I walked into the studio, because they were doing a little sound check, Jillian's like, hey, did you get my wedding gift? I don't know. I mean, that was a long time ago, and I don't. We've opened them. I think we've opened them on. I said, "What did you get my card?" Hoping she would go yes, and then she would go no. And I was like, "Wait, oh. well, did you ask her? <laughs> did you get my voice memo? Because that's that was my thank you card was." But a you're voice different. Memo. You know, I don't need to write you a note. I see you every day. I'm positive we wrote Jillian. Uh, do you want to? Uh, do you want to tell everyone how I was the last person to RSV? Actually, I didn't remember Correct. to I had RSVP to, check to in your with wedding. You, you to had to RSVP. call me like. Yeah. Two days before your wedding, you're like, hey, just you're you the only coming? person that hasn't told us. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm totally coming to your wedding. But like, like literally the only person who did not <laughs> RSVP. Yeah. We're Jillian and Brian. Really, <laughs> really busy. And that's an embarrassing call to have to make because you're almost calling with the possibility of getting rejected. Uh, it felt yeah. like you know, like I'm 16. Gonna be like, do you want to go out to, with me to uh, go to the have dinner? I'm and start. I'm starting to see why Jillian didn't get that that card back though. You're yes, like, right. Like, oh, yeah, you don't RSVP. Okay. Yeah, what? Okay. So you. What did you? What did you get me? Do you want to say? Sure. Yeah, I got you a really cool cutting board with your names and your wedding date on it. Oh. You don't seem impressed. It's really no, no. cute. I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. I wanted like, oh my god, that's amazing. I'm like, I will go today <laughs> and I will check and see. Yeah. Some of the stuff that we have is still in a room because we have written thank you cards. Oh, and I yeah. haven't invested emotionally in it all <laughs> yet. And I need to be there and invest. I'm you sure know? you have quite a few Aww. gifts that you still have to open. But wow. your wedding, by the way, I just have to say, your wedding was one of the most beautiful, heartfelt weddings I've ever been to. Besides one of my own. the most? The most. Okay, besides my own. Oh, of course. Um, your speech, I'm sure you've talked about this enough, but your Not speech really. was just, I was sobbing, like, Aww. because it was so real. And so I love when people write their own vows, and your vows were just top notch. It was so good. Uh, we watched it back, and I was embarrassed. Really? That means you well, did something right. Embarrassed for what? <laughs> Um, I cried. I was clunky. I'm supposed to be able to d communicate. That's why it was <laughs> awesome. And I was all over the place. And oh. I, it was, um, yes. I'll get it. 
Thank you, Julian. That was why it was awesome. It I, was I mean, trying. honestly, if you didn't, though, I mean, I think if you went up there and you just nailed it, I think everyone would be like, what a psychopath. <laughs> 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 I mean. uh, TJ from Brothers Osborne's here. A couple questions. What you, so, by the way, congrats on the Grammys. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, you When you went to the ACMs, you didn't do it on purpose, but I kind of got in trouble because of you guys. And you know I will defend... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will defend your honor to the death. Um, and you guys go, all right, radio sucks. I hate radio. Whatever he said. And I, I said, <laughs> what he said. whatever. That, what is, he said. That, is, that is not what I said. Whatever. <laughs> I, but you came on and I said, I said, I agree with them. And I, I laid out exactly. You're like, we our single got dropped from country. I don't, you, can you That's say what, what you read? That is what I said. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So here's the thing. <laughs> I like this. This is a great platform for clarity here. Go ahead. So uh, we won the award again uh, unexpectedly, and uh, we got up, and I thought, wow, you know, it was like just last week I had really bad news that our single got pulled, and which was a true statement. I did not even give my opinion of that. It was a fact. And then the very next thing I said was a nice this week to then win an award. And so some people took it as me saying that, maybe throwing shade but i was like i actually wasn't if anything i was actually trying to be a little bit more like self-deprecating like last week i sucked and this week i just won this award like crazy how life works out that way in my mind that's how i wanted it to sound i think some people sounded that way you know speaking of gi giving speeches uh you have in your mind what you're going to say it was mike tyson say everyone's got a plan to get punched in the, yeah, face. Punch in the face um yeah. and so it feels a little bit that way so i did not say anything of that variety however some people i think just filled in the blanks there for whatever reason and took it that way um and you know and the thing that was really kind of um uh that i was really upset about that whole thing was is that contrary to maybe sometimes what our songs do sometimes at radio we actually have a very good relationship with, with most with most of not all people um, at radio. So, in fact, I think a lot of reasons why we even win those awards are, are from the votes from country radio. So, I um, there wasn't really any animosity there. It was just kind of as... Uh, facts. Uh, well, the facts. Was. As someone said, it doesn't feel good when someone tells you your baby's ugly. <laughs> Which is like, a so <laughs> our songs are our babies. You yeah. know, so I was like, yeah. it was facts. Thank you. Well, this is what happened. You say that, and I'm like, you know what? And people start saying, hey, why are you dropping their song? I said, I don't think radio gives them a fair chance. I said, I don't think... Other artists in their category have such a quick release as Brothers Osborne does. And I don't know why, but you guys will get to a certain place in a certain amount of time. But because it's not quicker, radio just gives up on you. And so I start presenting data on the air. I had program directors coming to me from all over the place, just punching me in the face online. And so here I am fighting for the honor, the, the pride. Well, thank you. For the, and and I, was, I was up. I was, I was really just trying to give them all and represent you and Jay in the best form. <laughs> well, no, I appreciate it. I mean, it doesn't come without, without you know, it, it doesn't lack any uh, frustration there. But, I mean, it's business that takes a really, really, really long time. I think now that my, my brother and I have gotten to a place to where we feel very happy with where we are and we have had some success, it, it doesn't sting as bad. But when you're a new artist and that stuff happens, it's it's crippling. So to I stand by that, that you guys get screwed over more than anybody else. I mean. I stand by. You say nothing. You say right. nothing. I stand by it. We need to stop screwing you. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But see, you have said that's not what you meant by that. It and wasn't. I, no, it wasn't. That. that the. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to let you just. Yes. These are Bobby's words. And I'm telling you, and I said it that day, I said, they get screwed over more than anybody I know in the, at the level they are. And I'll mm -hmm. leave it there. You say nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. I'm and late. you've got the Grammy, so Most just time. remember this. You, you know, you yeah. Uh, no, we were nominated twice. So we, we, oh. we never got mind. One. I take it back. You know what? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> like, yeah, forget Chris, what I said. If, if you're nominated, <laughs> against, if you're nominated to. against Chris Stapleton, it's, it's a oh, yeah. poor chance you're going to win it. Yeah. That was the funny thing is that we did see him backstage, and I was like, oh my gosh, the first time I've seen Chris in forever. I'm like, you have to win a Grammy just to see Chris Stapleton these days <laughs> backstage. Yeah, that's uh, true. New single anytime soon. We're, yeah, we're yeah in the, in the throes of that right now. If, if, if we haven't got completely dropped from radio, everyone's like, God, I'm sick of these these guys. But uh, yeah, we, ha we have some stuff that, that we're working on. Okay. I well. just have my vote for High Note. Can I just say High Note? If you guys haven't <laughs> listened to High Note on Brothers Osborne's last album, it is one of the best written songs. Oh, thank you. And your vocal performance is so good. Every time I can't help, like, it's just so good. It's just like classic, great music. Please go listen to that song oh, if you, you haven't. Man. Yes. So let me let me restate this. Skeletons from Brothers Osborne, but we're here today to 
to celebrate Jillian and Jacqueline. Thank it you. almost sounds like she died. We're here to celebrate. <laughs> she was great. <laughs> no, but this song is so good. It's so good. good. Oh, it is it so, is so good. good. It's so good that after this, I will go, because I don't do a lot of, at this point, I'm so wrapped up in producing content and doing the show. and I don't sit in any sort of music meetings anymore. I am going to hand deliver this song to these folks and go like, you guys are idiots if you don't. Like, this is exactly what you want and what you're looking for. If you don't play this, I don't care if a record label's calling you or not. Like, you are just doing a disservice to our audience that we are trying to service and make their lives better. Mm. So everything I felt about Brothers Osborne, I'm moving that to you, and I don't care about them as much anymore. <laughs> so I, it's just great, Jillian. It's great. I feel the same. Bobby, way. you're yeah. awesome. Love Thank you. you. I really you appreciate that. Love you. Love Brian. Love you. TJ, you're fine. But we will see you guys. Um, we'll see you soon. Jillian, I see you're doing some shows. You're overseas, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, we're working on a lot of stuff right okay. now. Yeah, around the album. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're It'll not all overseas. be like on my website, JillianJacklin.com. There you but go. Um, yes, thank you guys so much for playing this song. It means so much to me. Um, and also, shout out to the songwriters I wrote this with Topher Brown and Adam James, incredible songwriters, Nashville songwriters. Um, Never heard of them. Two of the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I haven't heard of yes. them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I know them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> that's all. By the way, I read from the wrong paper. Uh, Brothers Osborne's overseas. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Good luck with that, guys. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes, been rescheduled like yes. five times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go. Jillian Jacqueline and TJ from Brothers Osborne. The song is called "Better with a Broken Heart," and we will see you guys soon. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, Bobby. This is about